Hey there, I'm Maddie Ben Yosef reporting for GT Secrets. You've probably heard of Bobby Dodd Stadium, but I bet you haven't heard of the West Stands of Bobby Dodd. Today we're going to take a look at the history of the West Stands and find out Georgia Tech's latest secret. The West Stands of Bobby Dodd. When did it grow? How did it grow? Why did it grow? Exponentially, the board agreed that there should be more vehicle traffic rather than foot traffic and built Techwood Drive. Prisoners from the Fulton County Prison used dynamite to level out the future playing field. In October of 1905 was the first football game for Georgia Tech. The games became so popular that the West Stands had to expand. Lyman Hall was a type of shack for students studying at Georgia Tech. Many students often commuted to school to get their education at the trade school. There were no places to live on campus. In Lyman Hall, there were no bathrooms, there was no water. Everything was furnished by the students from their learnings, from shop class. Tech students built the East Stands. Then a construction company was hired to pour concrete and complete the West Stands of Bobby Dodd Stadium. John W. Grant named the new field after his son Hugh, who passed away from an unfortunate illness. The field was too small and had to be big and strong, contrary to young Hugh dying, making an emphasis on healthy football players. In 1932, the first Ramblin' Wreck Parade was held on Grant Field. In 1946, Sideways and the troops marched on to the field. Today, we had the chance to interview Mike Flynn, Assistant Director of Communications and Public Relations, to discuss his role under the Georgia Tech Athletic Association. Mike told us what the West Stands are now being used for. It's obviously a big 55,000 seat facility, so, um, you know, there's a lot of storage needs. You know, there's everything from down markers and stencils for the uh, for painting the field. But originally, as you can see, these stands, uh, these are the original stands from when the stadium was built in 1913. Uh, Grant Field, as it, as it was known, and now Bobby Dodd Stadium is the oldest football stadium in all of FBS football, which is the highest level of of college football and these are the original stands that were uh, uh, first used in 1913 and used until 1947 when the stands above us were built over them. So instead of just tearing down these stands, what they did, um, which I'm sure was in a, in a cost saving measure, was they, they just built over the top and didn't tear them down. And that leaves us with uh, you know, a pretty cool historical thing here underneath the, uh, the, the existing West stands for Bobby Dodd Stadium. Thanks for watching our episode on the West Stands of Bobby Dodd. We'll see you next time here at GT Secrets.